our question from Pastor was, have you ever waited longer than you expected? Has there ever been a time where you were going somewhere and it took way longer than you thought it would? Who here's ever been on a road trip? Big, long car ride? your cousins. What do you take when you're going to go on a big, long car ride? What do you take with you? Take movies? Why do you take movies? Something to watch when you're on the road? Toys to keep you busy? Was that the same thing you were going to say? Does anybody take any snacks? A coloring book? Yeah, that can help pass the time. We take these things because... When you're in a car, you're kind of just sitting there waiting to get there. Have you ever asked your parents this infamous question? Are we there yet? Or you see the parents, they all kind of winced there for a second. Are we there yet? No, not yet. And then a couple, are we there yet? No, but a little closer than the last time you asked. So with this reading we had was about waiting. And there were people who were waiting. We know that when we have to do something that involves waiting, maybe we plan for it. Or if we know we're going on a longer trip, we plan for it. When I was much younger and I was moving to Alaska, I had to drive there. And it took us seven days of driving for 12 hours a day, towing behind all my furniture. And I thought my dad was crazy because before we left, he bought a satellite phone, a giant jerry can of gas, and extra tires for the truck. I thought, why would we ever want that? Well, then I learned that there's hundreds of miles of the road in Alaska that there's nothing. There's no gas stations. There's no cell signal. But we were ready in case something were to happen. Many years later, I almost made that opposite mistake because I was driving my truck on empty, because that's what guys do sometimes, and I got stuck at a drawbridge. Oh, that's a worse nightmare. Maybe for some of the adults out there, because I just sat there and I turned my car off because I was like, there's no way. But then I was really worried that I wouldn't start and I'd have to push my car. In this reading, There were wise people, and then there were foolish people. The wise people, they knew they might be waiting a long time. So they had brought extra oil with them for their lanterns. Kind of like if you're going on a long trip and you don't want to go crazy out of your mind, and so you bring something to help you wait. Coloring books, toys, movies, snacks. They thought... We might be here a little while. They came prepared. And the other people didn't. And so as the evening went on and they ran out of oil for their lanterns, what did they have to do? Did you catch what they did? You caught what they had to do? Yeah, they had to leave and go buy some. Well, isn't that just the worst timing? As soon as they left, what happened? (laughs) The bride came and they all missed it. They weren't prepared. Are we prepared? Hmm. You know we're waiting right now? We're all kind of waiting. The other reading talked about it. Do you know what we're waiting for? I'll give you a hint. He's up there. We're waiting for Jesus to come back. That's right. And as scripture says, some of us are going to be asleep when he comes. And when they say that, they mean some of us are going to be dead. But for Jesus and for God, it's like being asleep. Some of us won't be alive when he comes back. And some people will be alive when he comes back. And we're waiting for that time. In the meantime, how do we wait? What are things that we do so we don't run out of oil? We go to church. We stay connected to the life source, the oil. If there's no oil for a a lantern, does it stay lit? No, if you're the lantern, then you need to stay lit and you need to be refilled, where do we go? We go to church, we hear the word, 
When you're old enough, you come up to the communion rail and you taste and you see that the Lord is good. So in the meantime, we wait patiently. And sometimes we have to pass the time with things. But we're always prepared because does anyone but the Father know when Jesus is coming back? Nobody knows except for the Father when Jesus is coming back. So we're always ready. We don't want to be like the foolish ones that, oh, they left. And then right when they did, he came back with trumpets. So we keep doing what we're doing because you're doing good. We're staying prepared. Waiting's not easy, I know. They have little ones. But we're going to wait, and when Jesus comes, it's a great thing. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, Jesus, help me be patient. patient. Keep me prepared prepared. for your return. return. Thank you you. for dying dying. so that I can see you you. face to face. face. Help Help me listen to friends and heal the sick. In your name I pray. pray. Amen. Amen. All right, well, we head back. I believe we're singing a hymn.